when you go much deeper with the Course, you will start to realize that as long as you still are perceiving symbols of love and symbols of hate, we'll call it, there's still a deception going on because there's still a perception of duality. So those symbols of love get used quite a lot. I mean, you shouldn't think that, okay, I'm just going to start studying the Course and everything's going to be instantly neutralized. Sex will be neutral, the ocean will be neutral, you know, the sunshine will be neutral. You know, this is going to take some mind training. Uh, these, these images are heavily endowed with meaning. Certain sights and tastes and smells and touches are, it's like a, a cauldron of layered and layered meaning there. And even though the Holy Spirit sees the world in a very different way, everything's, all things are neutral to the Holy Spirit, that's a lot of mind training. That takes an enormous amount of mind training. So it's more that you, you appreciate those symbols as they come. The positive or negative. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can see that the negative ones are, are helpful too, in the sense that they're simply just reflecting something that you get to take a look at then. So, if somebody comes to you and they start screaming at you, just screaming bloody murder and everything, and you notice you have a bit of a defensive reaction, you know, maybe you don't even, it doesn't, you don't react in, in form so much, but you just feel like something just recoil. Or, or close down or something like that, then, then actually that's helping you because it's like saying, oh, there's something that I still believe in and I'm still holding on to and I'm still interpreting that I need to release to the Holy Spirit. And so you can actually be grateful for all brothers and sisters and all events and, and circumstances and, and situations because they are all bringing you the opportunity to forgive.